wet work level. Now, even though this is called wet work, this is nothing like the wet work level on for multiplayer on Call of Duty 4. Anyway, uh, grab that dragon elf up top, or one of you should grab the dragon elf up top. Set up some claymores right by that door, because after you breach this, there is going to be a couple guys rushing you. Okay. Uh, this is a challenging level to get to the end, but the most challenging part for us, at least the reason we fail the most, mm -hmm. is because there is one. Uh, how many breaching situations? There's two breaching situations, I believe. There's one right there at the start. There's one at the very end. Mm -hmm. And similar to the single player, uh, the one at the end, there's like explosives everywhere. Mm -hmm. And if you miss a shot, you're boned. But also, <laughs> which took us a long time to figure out, if you use too powerful of a gun, you're boned. Because like the bullets will go the through people. the enemies and hit the explosives behind them. And that's like the last second of the whole mission. Oh, that's got to be frustrating. Oh, we it took us a while to figure out that we were idiots and not just missing shots. Mm -hmm. um, so use the dragon off as much as you want, really. Um, at the start, uh, as soon as you get an opportunity to, you're going to be swapping out this dragon off for a gun with a thermal scope on it, which are very helpful um, throughout this entire level, and especially at the very end when you are basically required to have a gun with a thermal scope because they drop so many smoke bombs everywhere and mm -hmm. you just can't see shit without it. So before you run up the stairs, one of you should grab this gun with a thermal scope. Uh, also have someone, be sure to have a gun still that has a grenade launcher on it because there's going to be a helicopter that's going to spawn in a second here. And um, you can take it out with a grenade launcher. If you're not good at hitting those uh, helicopters with a grenade launcher, then um, there's also I'm standing on top of a rocket launcher right now, so you can use that. It's a little bit easier to take out those moving vehicles. Now on this area, on this platform, there's going to be a couple waves of guys. It's certainly not easy to do, or I don't know. It's not that that's particularly hard, you just have to be sure not to get flanked. They're really aggressive on this level in terms of like how they maneuver and how they position themselves. Mm -hmm. Like They rush you. So if you have to run out of your way and take your eyes off this area for just a couple seconds to like uh, revive your partner, mm -hmm. watch out that there's not someone like much closer than you originally expected. Okay. Because for some reason they're very aggressive on this part. As soon as you walk in, like, close enough to that little um, stack of I-beams right there, mm -hmm. that will trigger the rocket launcher and, or not the rocket launcher, the uh, helicopter and the next wave of bad guys. So is this to just get to the end? This is, yes, this is just a get to the end mission, uh, stay alive, don't blow up everybody by shooting the explosives kind of level. Uh, this level is also kind of cool too because there's an, like a bunch of these propane tanks you can see kind of burning in the distance and if you hit them with a grenade or enough bullets they'll explode and kill a bunch of people and there weren't a lot of those throughout the single player but there were a bunch on this level which is, I don't know, just a lot of fun yeah. to shoot and blow up red barrels are they red? those are not, some of them are some of them aren't but they're not like one shot kill red barrels like most games mm -hmm. you have to put a little energy into taking them out. So I have one person go through uh, the room on the right and try to flank this next wave of guys if you can. Um, when you come out of that door, if you're flanking, just be sure that like you're not going to get shot in the back. It can be, uh, that's an easy way to just get killed. And unfortunately, there's no checkpoints on these Spec Ops missions, but I guess that's why they're supposed to be more challenging than the single player. I'm they, Maybe I should go back and play these solo and see if they're even possible, but none of these felt on co-op nearly as challenging as Mile High Club. Mm -hmm. And I think even a Mile High Club co-op would have been really fucking difficult. Mm -hmm. But... Yeah, so just keep pressing forward. 
taking your time if you need to. There's going to be a huge cache of uh, ammo for the thermal gun coming up, so you don't have to uh, conserve your bullets too much. Um, right on top of that box is a whole bunch of thermal uh, thermal ammo rounds and an intervention sniper rifle with thermal ammo. I have one person run up to that stairs, uh, run up those stairs, run into that building right there, and that will trigger the next wave of bad guys, and then just come back here and wait for them to run at you. Have one person. <laughs> he wasn't doing his job. Mm. Fucking asshole. <laughs> Getting me killed. There will be a couple guys that come uh, down those stairs, or at least uh, through that door up there. Oh, and um, I'll mention this again at the end, but that last room that has all the explosives in it mm -hmm. that we kept killing ourselves at, there are a bunch of guns like right outside the room kind of hinting to you that you should use these weak guns like mm -hmm. MP5s and stuff that won't you know, penetrate the... or won't, you know... You penetrate the enemy's bodies. Right. And go all the way through. They won't go through. So yeah, you don't have to worry about carrying them too far. Or... You don't have to think about that at all, and just remember to swap out your guns at the very end. And Is that how you ended up figuring it out? Oh, what are these guns here? Uh, I don't remember how he figured it out. Huh. Maybe blind luck, I don't yeah. know. Anyway, uh, the next video will have the smoke section and the uh, final breach and clear.